say. But Stay hey, there. good morning to you, Jerika. Good morning. Good to see you. Yes, it's a really beautiful morning. I think it's a little bit better than yesterday. We are looking at some patchy fog, but we can actually see uh, the pier this morning. Yesterday, the Santa Monica Pier was completely engulfed in fog, and now we are looking at a clear start, which is good news. So currently, we are seeing temperatures pretty much in the 50s all across the region. Riverside at 52, and what's different from yesterday is more of our valley as well as our inland empire. Empire locations are seeing the fog this morning. So just leave yourself a couple of extra minutes. Not nearly as bad as yesterday. We've got 50s across the board pretty much everywhere with just a few 40s popped in there. Seven to nine mile visibility all across uh, the coastline, which is a great improvement from yesterday. But you can see inland from Santa Clarita down into Simi Valley, Burbank, Pasadena, Claremont, Chino, Riverside. That's where we've got that two to three mile visibility. That'll be a little more touch and go. But over the next few hours in downtown LA, we're going to be mostly cloudy with temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. With that onshore flow, we're going to see much cooler weather as we move into the day today. So high pressure is leaving us. Boy, did to bring us some beautiful weather this week. Low pressure. We know this track very well. It's been pretty much the source of all of our spring storms coming up from Alaska. It's going to move from the pack northwest all the way down our coastline and bring us some rain with a chance of thunderstorms tomorrow and then showers likely on Sunday as well. So throw the umbrella in the back seat. It will not be a washout all day Saturday and Sunday, but enough that you're going to want to keep that umbrella handy. So using our next weather future cast, this is Saturday at 5:30 p.m. Doesn't mean we're not going to see rain up up until then, but the heaviest of rain looks to hold off until your Saturday late afternoon and evening, and then another batch of very heavy rain moving in Sunday between that 1 to 3 p.m. time frame. But we will see showers and isolated thunderstorms in between that mix as well. And we're looking at anywhere from about half an inch to an inch and a half of rain in LA and Ventura County, a little closer to that area of low pressure. The closer you are, the more dynamics you have to pick up on a little more of that rain. Mountains and foothills, of course, make their own energy. And so that's why they'll get up to three inches of total rain. And then Orange County and Inland Empire just up to about a quarter of an inch. We already have a winter weather advisory in effect, about four to eight inches of new snow above 6,000 feet, but those levels will drop to 4,000 Saturday night into Sunday. So keep that in mind, especially if you're traveling on any of the overpasses and the grapevine. So low 60s. Remember, it's a cold Alaskan low, so it's going to dip us 20 degrees cooler in 48 hours. And then if you're heading out into the valleys or the Inland Empire, we'll be looking at that rain on Saturday and Sunday as well with the 70s returning as we move into next week. Back to you.